What is going on here, ones? Here again. Here for you, some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 playing some domination. This time on the map hijacked using an AN94 assault rifle. My teammate won't get out of the doorway. Fine, I'm just gonna freaking go over here. I'm gonna walk around over here. I'm take I'm gonna be this way. I don't need to go down the middle like I like want to. Jerk vicious. But uh, welcome to this week's episode of Dear Nero. It's a weekly series here on my channel where you guys send me in fan mail, fan questions. And uh, if it's a good question, entertaining question, I do my best to go ahead and answer it. I went through a lot of the questions this week and there was over 100 messages. A lot of them were actually repeat questions, but then again, not everyone has seen every single episode of Dear Nero. I don't know, maybe, maybe I've answered the same question twice. I don't know, it's hard to keep track. This is the 49th episode of Dear Nero. It's the 49th week that we've done Dear Nero here on my channel. Which is pretty cool. Next week is going to be the 50th episode. I feel like something special should happen for the 50th episode, but I have no idea what that would be. But I usually like to give a cover on the gameplay. The, ga the gameplay is just uh, me using the AN94. We start off kind of slow, then we really, really start picking up, and we get tons of kills, and it's a good time. And uh, something we should cover on a little bit more is the fact that it's really hot at my house today, right? It's really hot in here. It's really hot inside. It's really hot outside. Now I'm in Pennsylvania, right? Pennsylvania is not typically a place to be associated with really exceptionally warm weather. But it's pretty hot, so my window's open. And I mentioned there's a thunderstorm outside, so it's also pretty loud, but I think it's like moving away from us right now. So uh, you guys may hear some nice thunder in the background. I don't know, I think it'd be kind of neat if you did hear that thunder in the background. But either way, let's hop on the questions. That's what Dear Nero is about. It's about the questions. So first question, he writes, Dear Nero, I saw your computer gameplay of you playing custom zombies. What are your computer specs? And also, could you put more games from Steam on your channel? For example, Team Fortress 2, Counter-Strike, Blacklight Retribution, or something like that. Keep up the great videos. Zach from Pennsylvania. Mr. Zach from Pennsylvania, I'm going to tell you right here now, I am tech-tarded. I know nothing of the inner witchcraft that is a PC or how it works or what any of it means. Not at all. It, <laughs> this My PC was picked out by Wildcat. You know, my graphics card was picked out uh, by Foxhound. Uh, I, I picked out the mouse. I like the way the mouse looks. It's a it's a Razer Death Adder. It looks nice. It's got a glowy green thing to it. But I decided to find my PC specs for you because, you know, that's what you want to know. And I figured out, I don't know what any of this means, but I'm just going to read it. I don't even know if any of this is relevant. Intel Core i7-3770 GP or CPU at 3.4 gigahertz, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and a GTX 660. And it's also 64-bit. I don't know if, that's, if that matters or if that's a thing. I know nothing of computers or how they work. And this is why I'm like the wrong person to go to. People ask me like, oh, what should, what should I get for, you know, if I'm trying to upgrade my computer for YouTube, how should, what, should I, what kind of like PC site should I get? And I'm like, I, I don't know, an i7? <laughs> I don't know, how to, I, I think that's the processor. Apparently i7's a semi-fast one. I, I, I really don't know, I'm, I'm tech-tarded. But as for other games from Steam on my channel, we've already done a full playthrough of uh, Sniper Elite Nazi Zombie Army. We've also done some custom zombies on World of War. I've done a game player 2 playing World of War multiplayer and COD 4 multiplayer in the PC. Games like Team Fortress 2, Counter-Strike, Blacklight Retribution, I have no interest in any of those games. I really don't. Uh, the games I do have interest in, SimCity. SimCity is a fun game. I, 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 I don't think it's a YouTube fun game, but it's a fun game for me to play. You know, you build a city, you manage it, you put the fire station here and the police station here, and Old Bear raise the property taxes on this area. And it, It's a fun game. You manage a city. Maybe a lot of people don't like that game. I really do, though. Um... In terms of PC games, I really don't know. I, um, what was it? Left 4 Dead 2 was actually on sale for 5 bucks the other day. And Foxhound gifted it to me. Uh, he bought it and sent me the code or whatever for it. And now I have it. And so maybe we'll do something with that either on this channel or near Let's Plays. We'll see. But uh, those are my computer specs. And as for uh, new PC games, probably not. Um, I suck at PC anyway. So that that's also a thing. Next question. He writes, Dear Nero. Hey Nero, how's your day going? Well, it's going well, loyal subscriber. And then, and then he goes on to write, Anyway, my actual question is, in every Infinity War game since Modern Warfare 2, they introduced the 25 kill streak, whether it be a tactical nuke or MOAB. What do you believe that do you believe they will have this feature or not in Call of Duty Ghosts? And also, if they do keep it, what do you believe the kill streak would be? Keep up the amazing work and never doubt this channel. It's doing amazing from your number one sub, KOS Limeless from the UK. 
So every easier, you're right. Ever since like uh, Modern Warfare 2, where they changed up the kill streaks to, uh, from being a normal 357 style kill streak, uh, they have had Infinity War games have had some kind of 25 kill streak or score streak or gun streak, which is like a nuke or a Moab. Do I think uh, COD Ghost will have it? Probably because that's one of the reasons the game gets really popular, especially because of like YouTube. You know, on YouTube, uh, how big were tactical nukes on YouTube? That was a big thing. How big were Moabs? I mean, one of the reasons my channel. I uh, got to where it is now is because of all the Moabs I posted in Modern Warfare 3. I'd imagine they would have a streak like that. What will it be called? I don't know. Probably Moab again. I mean, it, it's set It's set in the future. I mean, they could go either way, really. They could go Nuke. They could go Moab. They could go something else. But I do think it will be there. Next question, he writes. Dear Nier, on Saturday, I was at a friend's birthday party, and I broke my leg and dislocated my foot. My foot has since been relocated and I have screws put in my leg. This made me curious, have you ever broken any bones or dislocated a limb, hand, or foot? If so, how did you injure yourself? Love your videos, Ethan from Ohio. Well, Ethan, I love how you're asking me how, I'd injure, how I injured myself, but you neglected to let me know how you go ahead and break your leg and dislocate your foot at a birthday party. I don't know what kind of crazy birthday parties you're going to, but mine usually involve cake, an ice cream, maybe a pinata. Nah, no, I'm being serious too because I don't go to many birthday parties. We have lots of children in my family. That's what happens at my birthday party or th their birthday parties. My birthday party, we like go eat dinner at a restaurant. So I have no idea how you, what kind of crazy ass birthday parties you're going to. Have I ever like broken anything or dislocated anything? No, because I'm Iron Man. And maybe I'm not Iron Man, but I, I feel like Iron Man. You know, I've done football, soccer, or. Yeah, it's American football, it's not whatever. Uh, football, soccer. I ran track. I've done basketball. I've done baseball. I've uh, I did. I was in like a BMX phase for a bit. I've skateboarded through a lot of my lifetime. Never broken a bone. Four wheeling. I go four wheeling by, by my dad's house. Never, never broken a bone. Never dislocated anything. Um, I have busted my head open probably five times though. So so that's a thing. I busted my head open like I cracked my skull. And, you know, hurts. It, Ow. Actually, if I if I get my haircut pretty short, like relatively short, you actually see a scar on my head. I, I have many of them. <laughs> if you were if I were to shave my head, I'd look like Jason Voorhees. Have you guys seen the Friday Thirteenth movies? Like when he's like a kid, or like the back of his head, or something, or it's all yeah. I'd kind of, my back of my head might look like that because I bust my head open like five times or something like that. But other than that, I've never actually you know uh, dislocated. I've never been to the hospital for anything in my entire life, which is pretty crazy. Next question, he writes. Dear Nero, out of the three new zombie maps that we've gotten out of map packs in Black Ops 2, which is your favorite? Die Rise, Mob of the Dead, or Buried? Also, do you think you like the Ray Gun Mark II or the original Ray Gun better? Thanks. Love the videos. Zach from North Carolina. Mr. Zach from North Carolina. If I had to pick a favorite, if I had to pick a favorite, pick a favorite. probably Mob of the Dead. It's pretty big. It's really big. And there's lots of different things to do. Buried is pretty fun, but it's really small. Right, and it's, it's pretty small, and there's like, it doesn't seem like there's as much to explore. I know Buried Inside Now after playing on it one day. I still don't know Mob of the Dead Inside Now. Um, Die Rise was pretty fun, which is another map I don't still know Inside and Out, but getting around 78 playing solo, I think I'm pretty much done with that map. I, I played on it like seven hours straight and got to around 78, and uh, I don't picture myself wanting to play Die Rise anytime very soon, so I'd probably pick Mob of the Dead. As for the Ray Gun Mark II versus the original Ray Gun, I'm torn, right? The Ray Gun Mark II seems to be really good for taking out like a decent amount of zombies, right? It's, it's pretty powerful, but at the same time, it doesn't have like the spraying factor that the original Ray Gun had. You know, if you're getting into a tight jam, you start spamming the ground with Ray Gun, and then draw me, and zombies start dropping around your feet. But when you're using the Mark II, you're kind of like you have to be accurate. You can't just spam the ground. Therefore, it's uh, it's kind of difficult. So I'm probably gonna go with Ray Gun Mark II right now, just because it's slightly, slightly newer. And we're gonna try and do this final question here. I know the gameplay is out of the way. I'm gonna throw some filler gameplay up for you guys, but I'm trying to get this one last question in here because this is something that's bothering me. He writes, dear near. So I'm a very small channel here on YouTube, and I've been here for probably three or four months, and I've only gained a small amount of subscribers. When did your channel start taking off with views and subscribers, and when can I expect mine to start growing more rapidly? Any advice on how to grow my channel would be amazing. Keep up the fantastic videos. Your pal from Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia. It's a long ways away. So, 
I looked at your channel, Mr. Powell from Nova Scotia, my Powell from Nova Scotia, and you say you've been on YouTube three or four months. That's a semi-decent time, but you've only been posting for two months, and within those two months, you've made 28 videos, right? You made 28 videos out of the possible, like, 62, 64 days. How I grew my channel, which this isn't always, like, there's different kinds of channels, of course. There's different kinds of styles of commentary, style of video, style of this and that. But how I grew my channel is how I like to watch people's channels, right? When I watch, like, uh, Woody's Gamertag or Wings of Redemption or an Cal or, you know, insert commentator here. When I watch these people... I watch their videos every day. I like the fact that they have a new video for me to watch every day. And I can be entertained. It's kind of like, see, uh, get into the, this person's life, for lack of a better phrase. You're watching this, and there's some thunder outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um, that's what I like about it. So when I did my channel, I did that same concept every single day. And what people don't know about growing like a YouTube channel is if there's there's a couple different ways, right? You can like post like one like, fantastic like all out video that you spent like two weeks putting together and that will be your video. Or you can do a video every day. It may not be as like high quality and high effort value, but it's still a pretty good video and it's something that a lot of people like to enjoy. And if the more videos you get out there over your time on YouTube, that's the key to growing because you have so many freaking people. There are so many people on YouTube. There are tens of thousands of people that are like 100,000 or higher subscriber wise I've never even heard of. It keeps, it, that grows every day. So you need to continue to post new videos every day because the more videos you get, the more videos get out there. And the more videos you have out there, the more chances for those videos to blow up. When those videos blow up, that gives you the opportunity for people to find your channel and subscribe to you and become a loyal viewer. That's what I've always done. It may not have worked very well so far, right? I mean, I'm not... In terms of views per video, I'm getting the same amount of views per video, like 3,000 or whatever. I've gotten that ever since I had 5,000 subscribers. Right now, I'm at 64,000 subscribers, and I'm getting the same amount of views per video. But I've still, in that time, amounted 12 million views. Because although people may subscribe to me and not watch me, or they may watch my video or not subscribe to me, it doesn't matter because they're still watching my video. I have a lot of long tail. I have a lot of videos I've posted in the past that continue to gain views. I have three videos over 600,000 views right now. I've got like 20, 30 videos over 100,000 views. It's just, uh, it's all about getting the videos out there. It's all about getting the videos out there and hopefully finding yourself an audience. That's how you grow on YouTube. You guys hear the lightning? You got the thunder? You guys hear it? I hear it. It's kind of cool. I love thunderstorms, but uh, we're way over the gameplay here. I hope that helps you, uh, Nova Scotia man. Uh, you need to you need to post. You need to post a lot, and it needs to be good. You can't just post crap, right? You gotta do you gotta do your best. YouTube takes a lot of time. People are like, oh, all you do is play video games. That's your whole job. I'm like, you can kiss my ass. That's all I do is play video games. You go post a thousand videos in two years. Tell me how freaking easy it is. But it's very difficult. YouTube's a, YouTube's fun though. It's a labor of love. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys like your question featured on next week's episode of Dear Nero, simply send me a personal message here on YouTube with the tagline reading Dear Nero. If it's a good question, an entertaining question, I'll do my best to go ahead and answer it, whether it be through a personal message on YouTube or through this show. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.